pretty excited about this. Just got this in the mail last night. This is a new drone from DJI. It's the DJI Mavic Pro. And I'm pretty psyched for this one. It's actually a nice little portable drone. Be a lot better for things like hikes and maybe some snowboarding, stuff like that. My other drones are quite big, so this will be a nice little change. But yeah, let's open it up and see what it looks like. It was pretty hard last night to uh, not wanna get this out and start flying, but the delivery guy only came at 9.30 p.m., which is really late. All right. Oh, that's a really cool box. Pretty stoked on that. Ooh, very, very nice. First of all, the drone itself, as you can see, very, very small. So we basically just take this, fold it out, and it's very intuitive. This is easy to do right off the bat. All right, let's see what else we've got here. We've got little controller. Looks almost like a little gaming controller, like PlayStation or something like that. And antenna, just like that. Pretty sweet. What else do we have? Cables, charging cables. I'm assuming these are manuals. We'll just ignore those. Just kidding. Read the manuals. Always important, especially if you've never flown a drone before. Charging block here. I'm assuming these are the other props. And they are. Comes with some spare props just in case which is great. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm pretty psyched. I gotta get this thing charged up so I can try it out. But before we do that, let's compare this with some of the other drones that I have. And uh, yeah, kind of take a look at the size difference. So we got the Mavic Pro. I also own a Phantom 2. It's got a GoPro mounted on it right now and a few other accessories. It's fairly close, but the Mavic is quite a bit smaller. And the nice thing about the Mavic again is that the arms fold up, so it's super portable. You can tuck that away in a camera bag, or I've seen people strap them onto their belt or something with a belt loop. Um, but yeah, this you definitely have to have a case for or a really big bag to fit it in. Let's see what else I've got down here. I've actually got this quite clunky <laughs> hexacopter. It's called a Storm 6. It's pretty stable in the air. The gimbal's not so great on this thing, but um, it did the trick, but check out the size difference between these two. I mean, yeah, no comparison. This thing is super awkward to carry around. I'll tell you right now, I don't even have a case that fits this one. This one I just kind of stuff in the back of the car. It's got wires everywhere. Again, it flew pretty great. It has GPS and it's not bad. It's pretty stable, but this thing has way more sensors and uh, pretty much can fly automatically. And then last but not least, we have the Inspire One, which is pretty much my workhorse drone. I use this for professional shoots and uh, it's a great drone. It has a lot of amazing features. The landing gear raises up out of the way and it's got a really nice camera on the front, which can swivel full 360 degrees and there's upgrade options for the camera as well. This one is still gonna be my go-to drone if I'm doing professional client work, but check out the size difference between these two. I mean, the weight difference is huge. I uh, have taken this Inspire up hiking, and if you've watched any of my other YouTube videos, you've seen the footage from that. Um, great footage again, but trying to strap this thing to a camera bag or a backpack or carry it in its case is super, super tough on a long hike. Whereas this one, I can just fold that up, tuck it in my camera bag, or stuff it in a pocket or something, and I'm good to go. You can see when it's all folded up, it's kind of like the size of a really big cell phone, but pretty awesome. Very, very portable. All right, well, now all that's left to do is to charge this thing up and get out and start shooting with it. Let's see what this thing can do. Got power up the controller, quick little press and then press and hold. And it's on. We'll turn on the DJI Go app and connecting. Now, I'm gonna turn on the aircraft. Simple press and then press and hold. And it starts to power up. Now, I haven't calibrated the compass on the Mavic yet, so I'm gonna do that now. 
And how I do that is press calibrate compass on the controller and the iPhone app and begin. We're gonna pick this thing up, turn it 360 degrees counterclockwise. Woo! And then we're gonna tilt it and do the same thing again while it's on an angle. Compass is now calibrated. Just like that. All right, here we go. Let's see how it works. Ready for takeoff. Just like that. Something I noticed last night when I got home and took a look at the footage is that it wasn't very sharp. It was actually very blurry. I realized that I forgot to focus the camera on the Mavic. The camera actually has a tap to focus feature, sort of like when you focus on your smartphone just tap the middle of the screen to focus your shot. You kind of do the same thing on the screen here for the drone, and I forgot to do that. Just came out here to see if I can get a few more test shots this morning, and uh, it'll be good because it's a little bit of a windy day. It'd be nice to see how the Mavic performs in higher winds. Oh, it's definitely shaking around a little bit in the wind, but not bad. All right, let's get this focus set this time. go in the sky. Fly! Are you excited? Fly up in air! Yeah! So now we're going to try to uh, use some of the special functions of the drone. We're going to try tracing us and see if it can follow us. So apparently this is pretty straightforward and pretty easy to do. And maybe we'll try to get a photo too, hey? Okay. So apparently you can just do photo gestures. Wow. And the drone is smart enough to recognize when you make these little gestures in front of your face. Ready? Two, one, one. Go! go! Whoa, ready? Here it goes. try to uh, take a photo with the drone or actually the drone is going to take a photo of us automatically all we have to do is hold our hands up in front of our face in a square and apparently you can just sense that and then shoot a photo so that was a pretty good flight Definitely wish I had my second battery, but it's on back order right now. I think they're yeah. trying to keep up with all the demand. Yeah, Dad. What do you see? Poopy. I know. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Lamb poopies. Watch out. Lamb poopies. Lamb poopies, yeah. What do you see over there, Scarlet? Lamb. That's not a lamb, that's a big ram. Pretty cool. We're gonna walk around in front of him so he can see us the whole time, but we're not gonna go too close, okay? Okay. 
We're going to be at a safe distance. Pets! I'm going to pet them. And we're not going to pet him though. He's wild. He's not a pet sheep. He's a big horned sheep and he's he's a wild sheep. Yeah. Oh, hi, Mr. Sheep. You're pretty. <laughs> he is pretty. He's got big horns, doesn't he? Hiya. My baby, this is Daddy Delk. <laughs> Are you introducing us? Uh-huh. That's nice. You're so polite. <laughs>